What's up, everybody? It's Geezer back again. And we're carrying on with our little bad boy thing we got going today. Um, I've already recorded a video today for Thief Simulator. And I thought I'd show you another game by the same uh, development team called Drug Dealer Simulator. Now, this one's a fun little game. Um, YouTube doesn't really like it too much, but uh, I figured I'll do an episode, let you guys see what it's all about, and see what you guys think. And if you want to see more of this game, definitely uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, we can make a series out of it. So, with all that being said, let's jump in and get started. Uh, we're going to go with just regular difficulty here. Uh, not going to go on super easy mode. But let's see what we can do here. Um, I'm not going to be calling any of the... Um, how you say it? Not going to be calling stuff by the name that it is, and I'm going to have to absolutely uh, leap out a couple things in here, because there's some stuff that I think YouTube might not like. Yeah, and f*** you too! It's quite, so, quite the start to the game. The adventure is hot. The big question is, is this my story or your story? Let's find out together, shall we? All right. Let's get Got into this one handy. here. All right. Up and at him. Let's get going. Oh, we got a call coming in. Yo, hope you're up. I would let you sleep yesterday off, but I have some trouble <laughs> to attend to, and it can't wait. I'm waiting for you at the main square close to my place. Sober up and come see me. All right. We have to go and... Uh... See our buddy there. So we got uh, tab key will show us all of our uh, tasks we need to do. And yeah, good old Eddie. He's the head of logistics, so you better listen to what he has to say, huh? Go meet him. He'll prep you up for the job. All right. Ah, booze and weed. The ancient enemies of short-term memory. Yesterday you got so fucked up. That even I forgot where the keys are. Search the apartment. <laughs> they gotta be here somewhere. All right. Let's see if we can't find our keys. Shelf there. Nothing here. Okay. Nothing on. Where's the keys? Hey, there we go. We got some keys. This is good. We can leave our own house now. Alright. Let's roll. Let's go see Eddie. See what's going on here. Uh, so Eddie is over this way. Let's go see what he's got going on. Hmm. I love the smell of tires in the morning. <laughs> but here's here. Mr. Looking Eddie. Good. Great. Sit down. I'll brief you up. Doobie? Lie, suit yourself. No, sir. You know what? Sometimes when I get these so-called uh, second thought kind of thing, I come here. 
sit down and just watch this shit. You know that every trap in the U.S. has this boom? 25 million bucks it cost them. Always reminds me of who we are to them. Helps keep me focused. Anyway, how was the party? <laughs> yeah, you young <laughs> tend to do that. Nowadays, I'd be f***ed up big time for a week <laughs> if I'd party that hard in one evening. Looks like there's going to uh, be a few well, little... Okay. Uh, anyway, good that you stretched up because we've got some in this jobs video. Listen up. I'm your main and only contact in the cartel. Anything and everything considering the business in and out goes through me. From now on, I'm your daddy, your boss, your f***ing wife, all in one person. You need dope? You write to me. You got the cash for the cartel? I take it. You shit your pants? I need to know before you change your underwear. Straightforward. <laughs> We're going to start basic. Grass and air. Uh, the three packages waiting for you in a dead drop at the back of the supermarket. Grab them, go home, and get your laptop. There'll be clients writing you soon. You make them sales, and I'll get back to you soon after. Questions? No, sir. Well, yeah, I guess I need to oh, figure out. Oh, smart boy. You'll find it. Anyway, get to work. Gotta go. We'll get to you later. All right. I guess that's our little tip. We'll know when we see a dead drop. All right. Catch you later, Eddie. Have Just a good one. Just in case you're wondering, dead drops are hidden drop points where you will retrieve smaller packages. Trash bins, hole in the ground, a big crack in the wall, you name it. They're usually marked by some kind of symbol, so you should find it pretty easy. All right, well, let's see if we can find the supermarket here. Well, it looks like they got a nice big wall here keeping us out of the next uh, neighborhood. It's for just trash. This, uh, okay. This, oh, hey. There it is. See it? Hey, hey, we've got some substances. All right, now go back home and get to the computer. Your first client should be messaging you any moment now. You'll get notifications on new messages on your phone, but to read them, you'll need the encrypted app on the laptop. All right, now. The one thing you gotta really watch out for is uh, the cops in this game are insane. You can try and outrun them, but uh, you have stamina levels in this game, and <laughs> you can run out of stamina really fast. Okay, this is Shadycom, a special, fancy, dark web communicator. This is where you order the merchandise from Eddie. And this is where your clients will contact you. It also has other options, but we'll get to that in time. It looks like we have a few people contacting us who want to uh, get some party favors here. So let's see what they need. Uh, so he needs some of that. Do I have some of that? How much do I have? Uh, I don't know what I've got. I think that uh, this first start, if I remember right, you have enough to cover all of them. So we'll get all these guys some, uh, some party favors. And we will say, yes, sir. And we... Yes, sir. He will say, yes, sir. All right. You might need that sexy red backpack on the cupboard. I know you're probably used to those sissy casual games where money's stored in a magic cloud under God's f***ing pillow, but it ain't the case for us here. You need space <laughs> to carry cash, so take that into consideration before you run those first clients. All right, so we got a backpack sitting somewhere. Okay, you can order stuff. Talk to people. All right, good stuff. Where's this backpack? Right over here. All right. So 
so we need to go there's our inventory workstation is unavailable right now we just got to go do some deliveries so let's go do some deliveries now we gotta start watching out for the fuzz because now we're carrying some party favors here and we don't want to get caught with this stuff oh who the heck's that oh this is somebody who's looking for some of our stuff okay uh yeah here you go so he's looking for Oh, I think if I remember right, you hold down the Alt key, and it separates. Yeah. All right, so he's good. Where oh, else we got? Did I map? tell you? Backpacks have downsides as well. The more you carry, the slower you run, and big beefy bags huh, may seem suspicious to the police. Okay, I told you. Now that's your problem. Okay, let's just pop up the map really quick. So we got a guy south of us close and north of us even closer. So we're going to head north to the guy that's up here because he's real nice and close. See if we can find him quick. Oh, there he is. We'll get him dealt with. Oh, I hear cops. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Uh, he's looking for this. Okay. This game has so much tension in it because you will hear the cop radios as they're getting close to you. The radios get louder and louder. And uh, there's times you walk around the corner and there's a cop right in your face. And, oh, it's, it's a crazy game. Lots of fun. Lots of tension in this game. <laughs> All right, so we got the first uh, first little bit out of the way here. Got a little bit of money. So we got to order some more equipment. And we'll, oh, check the gas station for some additives. Where's the gas station at? I think the gas station is over this way. Let's check the map gas station up here so we'll go up north here and slide over let's go check out the gas station see what we can find talk to Amy So she's got oh, all sorts of cool stuff here that she can uh, sell us. Interesting, interesting. Got 122 bucks. We don't need any additives right now, I don't think. So we will take a hike. We'll go hop on the computer and talk to Eddie and see if we can order ourselves some more party favors here. I always get mixed up where the door is to my damn house. It's down this one here. Alright, here we go. <laughs> it all looks alike in the beginning, but once you start getting into it, you remember where the heck your house is, it's easy to find. All right, let's get on the laptop here and talk to Eddie. See if we can order ourselves some more stuff here. So if you need more stuff, blah, blah, blah. Yep, okay, sounds good. We're gonna make a new order. And we'll order some of this stuff. And we'll order some of this stuff. And we'll say order. All right. So now we just have to wait around until uh, Eddie gets uh, gets all the stuff we need. So while we're waiting around for him, 
Oh, what do we got here? Gotta check on the computer. Probably some people wanting to order some stuff. Oh, he said it should be ready in about an hour. All right, so we gotta wait around for an hour for Eddie to uh, get his stuff together here. Oh, well, I guess we could go outside. We can hang out, check out some stuff. We don't have anything on us, so I think we'll be okay. Um, there is one thing in this game that um, when you are out after curfew, the cops can get you regardless of whether you have any party favors on you or not. Um, it's one thing to keep in mind. You definitely don't want to... Uh, don't Definitely don't want to be out and about when the police are on their heavy patrol times because you will get uh you will get caught not seeing or hearing any cops out in the boat right now so that's good have to wait for uh for eddie to get us our stuff you can see in the bottom left hand corner there your stamina bar so as i'm running that bar is going down like crazy and then eventually you'll get to the point where you can't run anymore all you can do is walk and that's never good when the cops are after you <laughs> so eddie has sent us a message no that's just calls no message yet all right, what do we got going on here? Come on, Eddie, get our stuff. We're waiting around for you. Turn the flashlight on on your phone so you can see what the heck you got going on, where you're off to. And right mouse button, open up your map. It's really handy. Okay, so we had a dead drop that has been, so it's by the supermarket. Okay, so let's get over to the supermarket. So we can get our gear here. Where's the supermarket again? Straight ahead. So is it in, oh, I heard a police radio. Is it in the same spot here? It is. We got everything we need. I'm going to hide for a second because I'm hearing police radios. Yo, I heard the authorities got pissed by that tire fire situation and they're sending more police on the streets. Watch out for patrols while you run around. They might be nosy. Uh, there's some cops real close by. This is not good. We have to uh, hold tight for a second here. The cops are just on the other side of this wall. Attention, attention. To all guest citizens, police hours are to start in 60 minutes. Repeat, police hours are to start in 60 minutes. For their own safety, all inhabitants are to proceed to their... So that... Police hour call out that is essentially the curfew. If you are out on the streets when police hours are active, whether you have any equipment on you or not, the police can arrest you. So, the best thing you can do is uh, well, the best thing you can do is stay inside during police hours, but um. When you do sales of equipment during police hours, um, you actually get paid more money because there's more risk. So we're going to, uh, so he wants some of this. And hey, what does this guy want? Uh, four of that, and he wants four of that. So we've got enough to do all three of these 
all three of these things, so uh, we will definitely accept all of these. And go make our deliveries. Okay, we can go make those deliveries, but now, oh, we get to choose a spray symbol. So this is how we mark our neighborhoods so that people know it's our turf and they stay the hell away from our stuff. So we're going to go with the, oh, we're going to go with the Reaper. Oh, yeah. Nice. So we have to go over here and activate the workstation. It'll tell us how we package up our party favors for our clients. So at the workstation, um, you hit I and it'll show you a manual to show you how to use all the stuff here. It's been a while since I've used it, but. So you're in workstation mode now. You can arrange your lab to mix and produce whatever you desire. Remember chemistry classes back in school? <laughs> no? Yeah, me neither. And who cares, right? <laughs> You'll find more info in the workstation manual. All right, so we got to hit the tab key here and go into this other mode. And then we can put down our special equipment that we have here. And then what we do is we go to equipment mode and we can put down some Ding little jars. Mother Bedtime. During police hours, you should remain home. But we, the bad guys, we don't give a f The police do, though. So you keep an eye on them and better stick to the shadows. Okay, and then we get ourselves a little tray here. All right, so all of our equipment has been placed. So this is good. So now what we do is we can add substances into our jars to store stuff in jars. So... We will um, drag and drop the substance. Oops, switch to lab mode, sorry. Uh, drag and drop the substance into the jars and it can get stored there. So we'll go with this one here. And we'll take this one into this jar. All right, so now we can do some packaging. So if we go here and right click on it, we can choose to, oh, come on. We can choose to do some packaging and then it tells you. You got to be smart about package sizes, huh? Smaller bags take more space per gram than the big one. Here's how it explains. Use larger bricks for wholesale transport and small ones for direct deliveries. We're going to make 10 one gram packages for that. And we'll, oops. Yeah, okay. Come on now. We'll do, keep wanting to move the mouse over there. It's mouse wheel. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to make one gram packs. We'll make 10 of them. And it's all in our inventory now. So we are good to go. So we can get out of our uh, workstation. We can head out on the streets and do some deliveries. So we have somebody just outside the door, nice and close by. That's convenient. But the other two guys are across the street here. So we're going to have to watch for the cops while we're running around here. But let's see if we can get these three done up, shall we? And now it's going to be nighttime outside, so it's going to be a little bit dark out here when we're in the back alleys and things. Where's that guy that's nice and close? Uh, he is just to our south. I think he's going to be in the little alley right over here. Let's pull up our phone and our flashlight. <laughs> Yeah, here he is. Awesome. What's he looking for? I can't remember. So he wants 
Four of those. Okay. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. But he's good. We got a couple more guys that are down across the street over that way. Okay. Let's see if we can get to him without running into any cops. Come on, man. Get the hell out of my way. You walk too slow. Okay, let's run it. I don't like being out in the dark when there's cops out and about. Uh, they're both over here. Where are these guys? Come on. Where are they? Oh, they're in here somewhere? Oh, that light scared the shit out of me. <laughs> okay. Let's get our get our light on, see if we can put some light on the situation here. Oh, they're still all the way across the damn street over there. Okay, let's get this phone put away. Oops. Nope. Make it run. Bring up our map. Should be a guy right in front of us, man. He's hiding in the dark. Good. There he is. Let's talk to Ted. Yes, sir. We got what you need. Four of those. All right. Good stuff. Oh! Hey! the fourth one there there we go now we got one more guy and he's just over this way a little bit go track him down here he is yes sir I got your stuff he wants four of these ones Good stuff. We got our deliveries done for the night. Let's try and avoid the cops. We'll head back to our apartment here real quick. And, oh, I'm on this side over here. Yes, sir. Let's get upstairs into the apartment here so we can relax a little bit. Because it is police hours and we were loaded up with some party favors. We do not want to get caught. So we're going to go here and there we go. So we're good. So that is uh, going to be our first episode in Drug Dealer Simulator. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and if you did, definitely leave me a like um leave me some comments let me know do you want to see more of this game do you not want to see more of this game uh, i know that was a really uneventful first start it's the the two tutorials a little bit uh a little bit slow but it this game does get quite crazy and sooner or later we will be running from the cops and trying to chuck our backpack over fences to stop them from finding our stash and all sorts of fun stuff like that so uh like i said just let me know what you think if you're interested in seeing more of the game i definitely would love to bring you some more episodes of this game it's a, a fun one to play it's a little bit crazy but uh i will leave that up to you guys so you let me know what you think um as always i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope we'll see you at the next one Take care, everybody.